Good evening everyone, it's North 47 here with the fourth and final round of the France Open at Yellowgrass Prairie Club on TGC Tours Elite Tour for Season 8's third event, sitting at 33 under through 3. And I'm going to jump straight into this one, I am actually pressed for time today to get this one done. But as we know from the last video, we are going to have high winds with very firm fairways and greens and very fast green speed. So I'm hoping that's not going to go against me. As I say, can't mess around, I literally have just barely about 40 45 minutes to get this video done and uh then i have to fly off so i will apologize because i am recording early in the day as well if there is any background noise i know sometimes it ha can happen when i'm recording um even during the night um but one of the neighbors power washing the driveway in the car next to me so i think he's finished but just if there is any sort of motor sort of sound in the background that's probably what that is coming across hopefully Hopefully it's okay though. Right, what have we got for the first hole? As I say, I am pressed for time. Um, and it's probably going to go badly, badly against me. First swing of the day. A little bit fast. Hopefully it'll help against that headwind. Look to be about 10, 12 mile per hour, I think. Down into the fairway still. Managed to get just over 300 yards. Well, it's quite a downhill tee shot though. Leaves us 329. Do we want to chance? Yeah, go on. We'll chance the driver carry over those bunkers again bit fast to say i haven't even warmed up nothing at all putting is cold as anything as well that is literally my second shot of the day so i will be speeding up quite a lot of shots as well right 54 in up 12 gonna be about 58 um i think we'll get a flop shot with that 55 yards there Oh, still a little fast. Worked out well, though. Probably about five or six feet, I think, for a birdie. Five feet. As I did say in the last video as well, green speeds would be 187. <sighs> Whoop! <laughs> Is that a sign of things to come? Turn. There we go. <laughs> that should have been a birdie. That should have been a birdie. If I wasn't so pressed for time, uh, would have definitely drained that. Just overhit it. First put of the day, though. All right, hole number two, par four. Again, it's really downhill. Let the wind work. We'll play it a little fast again. And again, so I will speed up as many shots as I can. Um, right, or as I can, as possible. Whatever, you know what I mean. <laughs> I say, I'm that, that pressed, I can't even uh, talk properly now. Right, 170, up 13, 174 roughly. Uh, well, 160, get there. A little bit of deal off to maybe it might do. A little bit of attack angle just to try and stop it a little bit quicker. Play it dead at the pin, still hitting them fast. That was not intentional, but it is coming around. Pretty good. Oh, that came up a little shy. Oh, was that held? No, oh. A dimple or two away from trundling his way back down that hill. Got a little lucky there, 20 feet down one. Apparently got that right, just needs to turn. Let's track in, come on a bit more. Ah. Well, look, as I say, going to be basically warming up the putting as we're playing. So just a par there again, unfortunately. But that came up a little bit shorter than I thought it was going to. All right, par three for the third hole. I'm actually going against uh, what I said in the last video as well, because it is actually Saturday. It's the final day for the event. I'm uh, cutting it close now to getting this done. Um, let's get this out of the way. 137 down 15, so about 132. Uh, we'll have to play actually 9 iron. It might be just nice with that wind if it can just come down onto that slope behind the pin and feed its way back down. There we go, that's better. But uh, yeah, I said in the last, I'm sure you can hear that. That is most likely. Uh, I do have the curtain slows at the moment, so I can't see, but that is most likely the uh, air rescue helicopter. I do live beside one of the main hospitals in Ireland, um, in, in Dublin itself as well. Uh, so 
that's where everybody gets airlifted to. Sounds like it's passing over. We'll probably hear it again in about, if it's still recording, probably hear it coming back with somebody. But um, yeah, I am going against what I said in the previous video, where if, or with the, with the way that the servers and stuff to be, very nice, put first birdie on the scorecard. Um, yeah, that's Saturday, so basically it's a no-go zone for this game for me. Now, I am playing early enough, so anybody who is online is, is majority going to be European side, anybody state side, so servers so far aren't too bad by the looks of things. But later on this evening, it would just be most likely a laggy nightmare for me trying to record or even just play. Right, a little fast off the tee again, but if I can get the approach shots under control, I'll be happy. Now, is the wind going to be favourable for this second shot? It is a par 5. Angled, we'll take the driver, definitely. Um, and if, we can, if we can carry over. Still a little fast, stay up. That should kick nicely, and now, whoop, big bounce. Kind of take the slope and feed back towards the hole. It's dying down a bit. Oh, it's going to be a lengthy putt, but it is for eagle anyway. And if we can two-putt birdie, I will be more than happy. Right, 38 feet down, one foot. We'll pop the pin in, just in case it is on track and it does want to go a little bit too quick. I think I've under-hit that. It's turning nice, though. Oh, I did see the double break and saying to myself, right, it probably playing relatively straight towards the pin. Wasn't far off, just needed to go a little bit to the right, but I will happily, as I say, take a two put birdie. That's 35 under par. If I can finish somewhere in the region of 45 under, I'll be more than happy. It'll have been a, a, a consistent event anyway, scoring wise. Right, hole number five, par three, 200 yards up, 25 feet, so about 208 to the pin. Wind looks to be around about 8 to 10. So I'm actually going to pull that right back. Will a 180 get there? Very firm. Fairways and greens. It might stand a chance of bouncing up. Oh, now we're hitting a slow. Compensating a bit too much for uh, the fasts, but I'll take a chip shot. We'll do the sand wedge, seven yard carry. Little touch D loft on it. Ah, I put it out way too far. I say, just trying to get through this as quick as I can. It's just one of those days now, a bit of running around to do, but later on this evening, I'm just going to sit down and relax. Steer clear of this because I say it is just, it will be a mess trying to play anything, just get it to load up. Um, always has been this way for me on a Saturday. And uh, I'm trying to think, what else have I been playing recently, actually? I started playing a bit of Project Cars 3 again last night, actually. Uh, trying to get used to driving it, driving on that again. But uh, otherwise, Car Mechanic Simulator. Still grinding out the trophies on that, right? 80 yards, 86. This might be okay. Hold that line, hold that line. That'll do quite nice. Looks maybe around about the six foot mark. Dead on. Oh, 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 oh toe curler. All right, 36 under par, three under for the round. Come on. Come on, mash an X and it still won't go. All right, hole seven, par three. Uh, 191 to the pin, right, we'll pull that right back to 180. Let the wind take it around. Just about kept it in the perfect. It's tracking pretty good though. Now if I can stun a little bit on that slope, that's what I was hoping for. Still has enough pace to get up there. Oh, stop. <laughs> Run off down that slope away in the hole again. Not much in the break. Didn't even look at the distance, just 
looking at the beads right get it there that'll do four under par for the round two par fours to finish off the front nine It's already been a little bit slow today. Actually, I, was, I spoke a bit too soon. Feels like it's getting slower hole by uh, hole by hole. That'll do. All right. I think I'm getting a handle on the, the tempo now. Even on pro, I do like to do a little bit of a warm up usually when I can. Right, 167 up 20, so 174. Four, take roughly 10 up 164 uh, 8 iron I'll put a good bit of loft and attack angle on it Ball's a bit above the feet so I'll aim it dead at the pin just the way to get the wind is slightly angled as well that'll do is turning a little bit though oh settle could have put a lot more on that but well, the break is not too aggressive 18 feet down four. Turn. Oh, oh, look at the put line. Just a bit of a push on it. Bit of a push. Oh, I thought that was going to... I pushed it badly. I pushed it even worse there. I keep an eye on that. I mean, I know they are 187s. But uh, still got to be mindful of the uh, of the put line. Keep them straight. Hole number nine. Ooh. We'll certainly get the green this time. And uh, actually, yes. Uh, comment on the last video from uh, Smudge. Saying, um, liked how I... Uh, I can't remember the exact word. But basically how I barely even acknowledged the shot. Into this green. In the, thir in the last video. Um, and I actually I had to have a look back at it because I couldn't think of the shot and it was only when I looked back I said yeah talk about nonchalant huh <laughs> just cruised right up to the hole tapped it in pretty much for a, an eagle too um, barely acknowledged the um, how good the shot was right 17 up four so 18 mm, eight yard now I know the nine nine iron chips that worked out well in uh, one of the videos a couple of videos ago I'm gonna try that again Oh, keep going. Turn. Had the way. Just that slow. Pushed it off a little bit to the right, but we'll tap that in. Eight inch tap in for a birdie. And that will be five under par for the front nine. So at the moment on track to be hitting around about that 45 under mark. But anywhere, I'd say, I'd say anywhere from 40 to 45 under, I'll be more than happy with. So we can have a decent back nine. Not drop any shots. That's a slope. Felt that one. Should kick left though. And leave us with just a pitch shot in. 68 up 18, so 74. Now, to be honest, I want us to take a little bit off this because we have got that tailwind of roughly around about 10 miles per hour. Oh, a little fast. Actually, it might have helped it up did I think we've got the perfect mightn't have been so fortunate to get up the hill there or up the slope cruise it in for an open and birdie on the back nine yeah I don't know if it's just me but it just transitioning between the scorecard and the mini leaderboard down the bottom left um Feels like it's just getting a little bit slower. Oh, man, my swing is getting a little bit slower as well. Well, it's fairway bound, that's the main thing. Uh, 317, going to leave us with 220 down 44. So about 205, near enough. Now with that wind... Hmm, right, I'm going to put full loft on this gonna send this up as high as we can and just see if the wind can float it 
without doing a partial. I actually got the perfect. It's tracking pretty good. That's looking like it's a little bit right. We'll hold the green now. It's just going to filter off to the right side, but we can do a little chip shot. Oh, the fast this time. Slow on the last one, pushed it to the right, pulled it to the left with that fast. But tap in part. Come on, load up for me. Be interesting to see how long this road, this round road, uh, round actually goes for. Uh, time wise, once we're finished, but uh, hole number twelve anyway. Um, definitely not going to get there in one. If we had a, a nice tailwind, we would. That's a bit better. Okay, sixty one. Call it roughly sixty two. Uh, we're gonna put. Quite a bit of loft and spin on it. There we go. Come on. Now sit down. Hopefully she'll come back. I know the greens are very firm. Not bad. I was hoping to come back a little bit more. But next to nothing in the break, I think. I actually want to display this straight at the hole. Push it right there. Oh, that's going to turn off. Is it? Oh, got it in the left side. Thought that was actually just gonna just turn enough. Just breeze over the left edge there. Alright, par five coming up. Depending on the wind, potential eagle. Nice tailwind. It is it's uphill, but it's reachable. Oh, especially if you hit up fast. Oh, don't come too far left. No, that's bunkered. That's bunkered. Yeah, definitely not getting there in two now. Uh, right, let's see if we can get the four iron to get all the way up over there. Carry that other bunker. Should do with the tailwind. Nope. <laughs> bunker to bunker. Uh, I was hoping it would have. I didn't. Uh, didn't see the swing line, so I don't know how clean the. Strike on the ball was right 118. Gonna play about 127. Don't want to pitch, I hate pitch shots from outside 100 yards. Um, and with the wind, who just played a gap wedge, put a bit of loft on the pitching wedge. I think, even though we have a tailwind, yeah, definitely the better choice. It just needs to get down. Holds the green. Mid range put. 13 feet down 4 inches. Oh, yes. There we go. So that'll take us to 8 under par for the round. 41 under for the event. As I did mention at the start of the season, just making the cuts is the main thing that I want to do at the moment. Get rid of those demotion marks. We did start the season off with four demotions, a demotion marks against the name. Um, Claude won, or managed to remove one after the first event, then missed badly, badly missed the cut in the second event. Um, 10 under through two on that. Um, 164, 154. Don't think the pitching match is going to get there. Yeah, badly missed the cut in the second event, so ended up getting that demotion strike back again. So this one should, just making the cut at the moment, I projected to remove one mark anyway. 14 feet up one, break and fairly aggressive. I'll keep turning, hold. Oh, I thought that was stopping. <laughs> I thought that was stopping for a second. All right. Bit of momentum here going now. Bit of a birdie run. Par five coming up again. I have a feeling this one's probably going to be headwind this time. Oh, and it is. Good 12 to 15 mile per hour headwind. Let's just smash it off the tee. 
depending on where it ends up now we might still be able to get there we've got 303 off the tee 254 it's going to play about 245 we might creep it on we'll give it a go certainly not with a slope wait now hold on hold on it's staying up come on nah that's bunkered just for a second i had a little bit of hope it would carry the bunker probably would have kicked off into the bunker there top right of the screen but if it did manage to carry this one um but we've left ourselves roughly around 31 yards we're going to play about 35 um not playing a splash shot out of a deep bunker Now just sit, come on, settle down. That will do very, very nice. And a little tap in for the birdie. So four on the bounce, little streak going. See what we can do now for the final three holes. A par three followed by two par fours to finish it off. Sixty-five under through eighteen, or for the event, uh, whoever that was, didn't see the name. Again, don't know if that person is even registered on TDC Tours, never mind on one of the higher or lower tours, if not the elite. Right, 228, going to play about 233. Um, try and float it in. Again, just a lot of loft on the three wood. Just about kept that perfect. Come on, wind, hold it. Oh, this could be nice if it does kick good turn oh <laughs> again i still cannot recall recording around uh live and getting a hole in one i have obviously saved gameplay before and uploaded that but i just do not recall ever getting one live getting close a few times now recently so two holes left to play one off where i was hoping to get to which is 45 under par little fast hopefully that doesn't come around too far at the moment it looks okay no that's bunkered again but we've only got 88 yards in up 24 so it's going to play about one oh or sorry 96 jesus i'm Adding on an extra 10 yards there. Uh, 96. Um, I'm going to put a good bit of loft. Well, not a good bit of loft, actually. It's not the best of lies. Just with the sand wedge. Oh, it's a slow. Oh, wait, that has actually helped sit. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was going to come back a bit there. A little one foot tap in, right? That's where I wanted to get to, was 45 under par. Um, what I'll do now, while we're actually getting onto the final hole, I will load up and see roughly in and around about where, at the moment, should be finishing up. I should really do this in advance, get the bloody thing uh, lined up, ready to go. Uh, France open. So 45 to 46 under par, provided we don't screw up and get a bogey. Will have me either tied 37th a 45 under par or tied for 30th a 46 under par. Good final tee shot. Plenty of room to run the ball up to the hole if we need to. Probably going to have an angled headwind here. Uh, 119, gonna play about 116. Wind's about 10 12 mile per hour, maybe. Um, ooh, that might be okay. Got the perfect, and the ball was below the feet, but it's still coming around a little bit more than I hope what was hoping. But decent final approach. Little bit of right to left to start it off, then left to right. So I'm hoping left edge should be enough. Turn back. And it is enough. So 46 under par will have me currently um, tied for 30th. 
so I'm more than happy enough with that finish. That was a solid back nine. Was there only just one par on that? Was that almost a flawless back nine? Here's where it's going to hang up. No, I thought it was going to hang up. Ah, uh, scorecard. Uh, yeah, almost a flawless back nine. And just four pars on the front nine. Just shame about that first hole getting a par on the par five. But that was a beautiful back nine. Eight under for that. Um, giving us a round of 13. 13! <laughs> Excuse me. If you cut the last video. Um, we started at the first round was 10 under. Second round 11 under. Third round got 12 under. And I said in the last video. See if we can get a 13 under round for the final one. What are we going to do? We went and got a 13 under round. Um, you can't make that up. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh just progressively getting better um one stroke at a time as the as the event went on um yeah it's, we'll finish off on that screen now um but yeah only, i just realized that just there when i looked at the scorecard and saw the 13 under par um yeah so 10 11 12 13 um i couldn't have predicted that could not have predicted that happening but that was a nice that was a nice event happy enough with how that went didn't threaten the top of the leaderboard actually give me a, a quick look actually just because i do have it open um at the moment the winning score is a three-way tie at 55 under par so i mean i was only nine shots off the lead it's not too bad considering um i mean in the first two rounds i did leave a number of birdies out there on the course but uh, now i have to say i enjoyed that one on the fence at the uh, at the moment for the next one um uh, as I, I did say in the last video that that course if you're not on the ball even though we're, we're only on pro swing um can still potentially cause some problems um but no i really enjoyed that one that was that has been the france open at yellow grass prairie club on tgc tours elite tour season eight event number three Thank you all very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to drop it a like. If you have not done so already, make sure to hit subscribe. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Until then, take care, have yourselves a good one, and bye for now.